Hello everybody, and welcome back to the final episode of Spongebob Battle for Bikini Bottom Rehydrated, Dehydrated, whatever you want to call it Uh, the only level left is Chum Bucket I think it's time to go in Did I say it already? My name is Master Mark And let's, let's get in there and figure out what's going on We know it's Plankton <laughs> they serve food, but they don't serve love. Oh. Breaking news! And best known for the creation of robots whose sole purpose is to cause mayhem and destruction uh, has denied any involvement. It wasn't and me! Stop on your children! And stop on your children's children! This has been a bikini bottom news flash. Wow, thanks. What is his name? Phil Flounder or something? What do they got on the menu? They got chum burger, chum fries, chum shake. Chum on a stick, chumbalaya, chum chili, chum pie. Warning. I can't read the warning. <laughs> yeah, I feel bad for Plankton because a lot of times. What is this? What? What's hiding up here? Is that a spatula? That is. N you're lying to me. That is not a spatula. No way. Oh my... Why is there one in here? <laughs> I knew it. Oh yeah, uh, so I feel- I feel bad for Plankton, because he's just trying to, like, run a business just like Mr. Krabs. I feel like he always gets the short end of the stick. He's like, I WENT TO COLLEGE! <sighs> you think, um... He would just mess around with the chum stuff until it tastes good. You know? It just just make the chum taste good or or make a burger of his own and maybe it's even better than the Krabby Patty he's always trying to steal Mr. Krabs recipe which is it really Mr. Krabs recipe I, I don't know if they ever explained that in the lore uh, if it, is it actually his or did he just steal it from somebody else did he buy it from somebody else I don't know but enough lolly gang does this hurt me Yes. Alright. We can go into the kitchen. We need 75 spatulas. We have 82. Let's go. This is it. Come on. Oh, excuse me. Look at that guy. That big square head and those short shorts. That's the most hideous thing I've ever seen. Wait, that hideous thing looks like me. That's me. <laughs> oh, Plankton, you're behind all this, aren't you? Yes, yes, it was me all the time. Behold, the duplicatotron. I registered the name, so don't even think of That's a big one. Sorry, my phone went off. <laughs> but now that daddy's home, I can fix that. What? What's wrong now? It should be working. He can't do that. A robot plankton. <laughs> Enough. Look at this duo. They look great, by the way. Oh, oh my god. Oh, jeez, that hurts. To do what? Oh, I gotta hit the button. 
Hit. Yeah. Look at this guy. Ouch. I'll break. Oh, I gotta shoot missiles. Right in the schnauzer. What do you want, Plankton? Robot Plankton? Stop. Oh. Oh. Oh my. What is that? Oh god, I can fall off. Ah, oh, that's fast. Shut up, Phil Flounder. Flounder Fishkins. <laughs> He's talking over everything. Stop it. Oh, I can hit Plankton. Robot Plankton. All right, it's okay. That's so fast. I don't get the timing on that. <laughs> I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Shut up. <laughs> you don't need to commentate everything that happens. Ow, he got hit. Ow, he got hit. Ow, he got hit. He's gonna do three. Oh, it was close. Boom. Get out of here, Plankton. Oh! What is that? What was that? It's karate. How did that still hit me? I know, I see that. You don't have to tell me every time. Karate. It hurts. Two karates. Okay, one, two, three, four. Oh God! Okay. Ooh. Oh, oh, he's only he's down to three. He's down to three. Oh, jeez. This is tough, but we can do it. Just keep moving. He's only got two hits left. God, he's real good at that. Oh. <laughs> Shut. Oh my God. Does he? Ev does he ever stop talking? <laughs> oh, we don't have to do a double jump. We can handle this. Oh. No. Oh, he did it so fast. He did it so fast. Okay, I don't need to watch that again. <laughs> oh my god. God, it hurts. Yeah, well. Get him in the nose again. Okay. You want to get both hands. Can I get a cheeky one off? Uh, oh, okay. We can get some health, though. All right. I didn't know I could just go back and forth like this. There we go. Get him on the side. There's one on his back, isn't there? I bet there's one on his back. He's pretty good at that karate. You know what I mean? He learned from the best. I don't know how to do that move. <laughs> I 
SpongeBob's also really good at that from uh, slapping them patties at the Krusty Krab. Yeah. It's pretty scary when he does that face. Reminds me of, like Five Nights at Freddy's a little bit, like an animatronic face. It's really creepy. What? What was that? He like shot me mid air. You see that? Okay. Okay, go for this one. Okay, he's down to two hits. I'm gonna retreat. And get some of this free health. Because I feel like we're gonna need it. <laughs> Robot Plankton sucks, so I have his little zappy attack. Okay, that's not too much of a problem. <clears throat> okay. Back and forth. Back and forth. Okay. Over his arm. One hit. He's only got one hit. I'm just gonna take the fall here. Okay. Oh, that was close. They're getting faster. Is it gonna be three? It is. Okay, now it's gonna do the slaps. Slap. Slap. I fell off. Look, come on, camera. I need you to not do that. Gotta wait for the flashing. Cause I'm holding left and right on the stick, but like, I guess it was like I'm I'm at like, like a slight angle sometimes. That's the only thing I'll give. Why did I get hit? Tell me why I got hit there. You shouldn't be able to slap me in the um, the air. Okay, slaps. Okay, keep up the energy. Okay, go down. And then, oh, oh, we got him, but he's not out, is he? Oh, ho, ho. <laughs> my beautiful bride. I'll repair you, baby. How big is he? Oh, he's got the inflatable arms. Well, then I'm going to follow him into my head. I mean, into my robot version's head. Which is like my head, but bigger and more metallic. Will you go already? Here I come, robot plankton. This is just getting too weird for me. <laughs> SpongeBob's in the SpongeBob. Oh, my God. Okay. Oh, here we go. Bold SpongeBob. Oh, nope. Nope, that was not what I was supposed to do. I was like, I'll jump over to the next platform. The game was like, no. You can't do that. Okay, what do I do now? Get him. Okay, it gives us a platform. Oh, it's one. Boom. Gotta destroy him from the inside. Okay, I can just do this. What the? Where did you come from? Fine, I'll hit him first. Quick, quick, there we go. Nice. Now what? 
Do I hit Plankton again? Oh, Plankton, you suck. Okay, there we go. Is it? Do I have to hit him? Or am I, I don't know. I'm not really sure. Maybe it's just a time thing. Woo! All right. Come on. Oh. Part three. Woo! We're going down far. I mean, we could do this. But... Woo! There we go. Nice work. Plankton's gonna show up again. There he is. Okay, we hit him. Now's our chance. I feel like this platform's gonna fall, but I don't think they are going to. Alright. We're doing it. We're blowing all those fuses. It's gonna hit me. Of course it is. Can I hit this? Nope. Move! Okay, there we go. <laughs> There's so much, like, lag time after you hit something with a missile, I can't, like, move until like, the camera returns to me. Alright, there he is. He's gonna shoot. Okay. Aim ahead. Let's give him a good hit. He's really good at hanging on. Oh, no. What do we do here? Uh, well, we could do something like this, and then like curve it. Oh my god, that was perfect! I literally could have done that, couldn't have done that any better. Okay, going up to the top. I'm going up to the very top. Bounce me in. Okay, what about here? Where are we going? This is like a journey right now. Oh, maybe I'm supposed to do this. Boom! That's one. Oh, we gotta hit all four. Woo! <clears throat> I don't know if I'm supposed to hit Plankton beforehand. Like, it, it seems like it takes him a while to catch up. Nope, he's here. Hit him. All right. Now we can do this. He shouldn't be able to get up in time. Oh! Should we do it? The small does not rule. That's still creepy. Uh-oh. He's losing control. <laughs> oh no, his arms! No. <laughs> well, we got him. Wait, that was from Centipede. That noise was from Centipede. I swear to God. Oh no. I'll destroy you. You'll destroy me. I'll destroy you. Oh no. 
Why is it making more plankton robots? Stupid. <laughs> I went to community college. I thought she was a squirrel. I hate all of you. Wow. What a speech. And they've all left. Okay. I felt like that little went on for a little too long. <laughs> Oh, what is this? Oh, it's the credits! Nice! Cool! Wow! Uh, this is like a little mini game just to get some extra shiny objects. Cool, cool! So yeah, playing this blind... Uh, it's, it's really fun! Like, I played the movie game and I thought that was a lot of fun. Although... Maybe a bit frustrating. Um, I think I'm more nostalgic for the movie because I've played it before. Like I've never played this. Like I said, it's blind. Oh, it's like it's like ping not ping pong, but um, what is that called? What is that game called? Oh my god, I'm pulling a blank. Pinball. Pinball, that's what it's called. They have like little pinball machines. So I kind of, oh, I get to go up a little elevator. Oh, look, there's the crowd from the, um, the Poseidon fight. Is this the Poseidon? It might be. Oh, yeah, uh, Plankton, Squidward, Mrs. Puff. I didn't see who Mr. Krabs was. Dang it, I missed it. <laughs> Main voice talents. Oh, those are in different languages. <laughs> I was like trying to look through. Polish. Yeah, these are like the different languages. But yeah, this game is awesome so far. Um, I'd like to play through the movie game again. Um, although I don't. I I read something like they can't because of like licensing issues or something, which really sucks. I really like they did a really good job with this. And I'd really like to see them do it the same treatment with the movie game. Uh, so we'll have to see, but it, I'd, I'd be willing to just play like the GameCube version or Or maybe I should check which apparently the Xbox. Oh my god Xbox is the best port So I might have to see if I can get something running with that. I never owned an Xbox. So I'd have to probably emulate that Yeah, this game's pretty sweet. Um If you like platform like silly platformers you like the uh, Spongebob I highly recommend it. It's got it's pretty decent on replayability I'd probably say you could play it like probably two to three times without getting bored. Oh, but this is pretty sweet. Uh, I don't know if there's like a hidden spatula in here for like collecting all the shiny objects. I'm just kind of rolling around right now. Um, there are still some glitches in the game, uh, which is fine. I mean, you can't fix everything. Like, I don't know. Like, it's like. I, like I said, I never played the original. Like, I don't know what's changed and what's not. Uh, it seems like some of the glitches that were in the original have been ported over. Like, maybe... Because I know some stuff just can't be fixed. Especially with, like, older games. Because it's, like, a different... And, like, I think they pulled it over to a different engine. And sometimes assets don't work. Sometimes the hitboxes just don't fit. Like, I noticed on the, the spatulas, the hitboxes are tiny. This like a skeleton. I don't know if that, that was on purpose or... Um, Spongebob is fun to play. He gets, like, the rocket and stuff like that. He gets to play as Patrick. Um, he gets to throw stuff around, which is enjoyable. And it's like that in the movie game, too. You gotta throw stuff around. Sandy seems to be the most powerful character. 
because not only can she double jump and glide for a very long time, it's like six, five or six seconds. She can also one hit people with the lasso. It's very fun to play as Sandy. I would have liked to seen maybe another character or two. Like it'd be probably pretty fun to play as like, you know, Mr. Krabs or, or Squidward. And where else could they go? I'm trying to think. We hit pretty much like all the major locations. Um, maybe it would have been cool to maybe see like the dirty bubble or like some more, um, uh, or maybe like Man Ray. I would have enjoyed seeing them. What else? I'm just trying to think. Like if they made another game, what would I want to see? Oh, if they made another game, they need to get the real Mr. Krabs. If they can get everybody else, they can get Mr. Krabs. That still makes me a little... I'm still annoyed with that, because, like, they literally got everyone. Everyone but Mr. Krabs. And Murray Man, but his, his voice actor's dead, like I said in the other episode. I think I'm out of shiny objects. I mean, there's, like, a couple couple over here. Let's see if I can grab them. Yeah, I'd like to be able to play as maybe Mr. Krabs or um, Squidward. I think that would be cool. Add some more variation to the game. Let's see. We didn't, did we go to, we didn't go to Mr. Puff's boating school. That's potentially a level if they ever did the new one. And, oh, the, another reason why I liked the movie one is it had, like, part, scenes from, like, the movie. But this one is just kind of generic, like, you're just going around Bikini Bottom to, like, the various locations. So in the movie one, you got to go to a bunch of special locations that usually aren't in, um, Spongebob. Like, you got to go to the Goofy Goo- uh, Goofy Goobers... Whatever it's called. The Goofy Goober place. It's like a- they do ice cream and... Uh... I, I think it's just literally just called Goofy Goobers. And just like little things like that. You get you get to go to like the gas station and go to Goofy Goobers and then you're... I remember at one point you're riding- there, there's a boss on like David Hasselhoff's leg. Like, it, it's just like cool stuff like that and then you get to go to... Just like special locations. So it'd be cool to see some like different ones. And like some levels in this game, like Sandy's Tree Dome, there is just kind of like a mini game. It would have been cool to see like a full level in there. Like maybe you go in the tree and you know, there's like a tree level. Um, same thing with the Krusty Krab. Like uh, you go in there for like a little bit, but it's just kind of like a mini game. We did the thing with the Dutchman. We did the SpongeBob Dream. What else? Go Jellyfish Fields, Goo Lagoon, The City. I don't know, I'm pretty sure they could come up with something. Because Goo Lagoon has, like, the pier. Which is actually... That's... the They actually are connected, if I actually think about it. But yeah, uh, pretty solid game. Highly recommend it. It's on Steam. Uh, you can play it with, like, Master Keyboard, or if you have a controller, like, like I do, you could play it that way. Um, really would love to see them, uh, rehydrate the movie. Uh, I, like I said before, I think there's something about the trademark or copyright that they couldn't, or maybe that was just a rumor. Be cool to see them rehydrate that, remaster that. Um, but yeah, I'm really enjoying streaming over recording because while it's unedited, with the streams, like, I can, I can, uh, I can make sure everything's set up and then, like, cut out the, you know, maybe, like, the minute or two, I, like, make sure everything's good and get myself ready, you know, grab some water or something. It's a lot more convenient because, I think I talked about this in, the, in another episode, um, I can just, like, I hit start stream, you know, I do, you know, my hour or 45 minutes. And then I, you know, snip 
the intro and that's all I'm, I'm done there's no rendering there's no uploading i wish you two had had a full-on editor like you can blur stuff and i think you can cut stuff out and like small things like that but it'd be cool if you could make cuts like i want to cut out this to this and then save but that's asking a lot of like youtube thanks for playing yeah i can't it's um oh turn this off yeah it's annoying that i can't edit like if there's like a funny moment i can't make it funnier but i just got a new hard drive maybe maybe i can do something with that now that i have more space because that was another problem uh, i would record an episode and then i was running into the problem of i just didn't have any space left my drives are just full and even like something like this, uh, the settings I record on, I would go through like 20, 40, 60 gigs with one episode. And the, the, the quality is probably a little bit excessive, but it, it just looks better. Like I want my episodes to look good. Like even streaming, like it looks fine. Um, but yeah, it's something with now that I'm streaming, I can play a lot. I can. I don't have to worry about editing and correcting stuff and other stuff like that. I can just play the game. So like some games that I only did like an episode or two of and I haven't really touched. I can just hit live stream, play, play for like an hour and then that's it. I don't have to usually worry about that. Uh, I got screwed once with one of the Spongebob episodes streaming. I don't know if it just got lost or there's an error or it, the stream stopped or it just wasn't there. It, was just, it just vanished. So that was annoying to, because of the episode was just gone. Um, and another thing is, uh, if I record, um, it also takes up a lot of resources. So like, I only have a 1070, uh, in my system. So like with the, the launch of the new NVIDIA 3000 series card, I was like, oh, I'll grab one of those. And I'll never have to worry about, you know, bottlenecking my system again. Because I'm, I'm only playing on 1440p. I don't have a 4K monitor and I don't plan to get one. They're, they're insane. They're, it's like $1,000 for a 4K 144Hz monitor. And at the same price, I could just buy, like, one of those 48-inch uh, LG OLEDs. Like, I'd be crazy to buy a monitor like that. I could just use the TV. So, it's also something to consider. But yeah, this has been Spongebob. Uh, I gotta cut myself off or I will ramble for pretty much indefinitely about different things. I'll talk to Patrick one more time. Give me the turkey baster. 85. See, if we pull up the map, I've gotten pretty much all of them. Oh, the cruise bubble. We could go grab that one, but it doesn't really matter that much. Poseidon. Missed a task there. I got all the ones on Sand Mountain and the Mermelair. Missing one on Rock Bottom. I know where that one is. Kelp Force. I still don't know where that task is. Did all in the Dutchman's Graveyard. Uh, I'm not a completionist. I'm not getting all the socks. Got all of them in the dream. And Mr. Krabs is literally, you could, you, it's just a grind. It's just, how, how long do you want to sit there and break boxes, die, break boxes, die until you get them all? But yeah, um, this game feels really solid. I'd love to see either the remaster of the movie game or a brand new game. I would happily accept that as, uh, as well. I don't know what they would do with that, but... I hope, I hope with the success of the, this game that they can fund another game. Because it's, it's, it's fun to play, like, Spongebob's just a fun IP to play around with. Because you could, you could literally just do anything. It's just like a goofy show, and like, this one was all about robots, and the movie one's all about, like, that you're going through the movie. Um, so they could definitely, like, do some other crazy stuff. And, like bring in other episodes and references. There's a there's so many references and like locations and like special stuff in SpongeBob. Like you could you could make a bunch of games and be pretty good on content. 
Okay, but I'm actually gonna cut myself off now. I, I <laughs> it's too much, and we're gonna end up right in front of SpongeBob's house. Uh, let's let's end up in the iconic location, the three houses, the trio of the main characters: SpongeBob, Patrick, and Squidward. So that's gonna do it for this playthrough of SpongeBob Rehydrate. I'm not reading out the title again. <laughs> Uh, if you enjoyed this want to see more like it, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. If you don't want to miss a video from me, make sure to hit the bell. Uh, if you have any games you want me to play, please let me know in the, des uh, the description. Please let me know in the comments. I'm open to suggestions. But yeah, that's going to do it. SpongeBob is great. Thank you all for watching. And I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.